the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let's call to mind our shortcomings and failures. Ask God's pardon and forgiveness for the worthy celebration of this most holy Eucharist. We shall pray together, I confess, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned sin in my thoughts and in my words, words in what in I have, what done, I have done, done and in what, what I failed to, fail to do. Through, through my fault, fault through my fault, fault through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask, I Blessed ask Mary, our Virgin, virgin all, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for, for me, me to, to the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life uh, everlasting. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty of a living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Kings. Elijah went on a day's journey into the desert until he came to a broom tree and sat beneath it. He prayed for death, saying, This is enough, O Lord. Take my life, for I am no better than my father's. He lay down and fell asleep under the broom tree. But then an angel touched him and ordered him to get up and eat. Elijah looked, and there at his head was a hearth cake and a jug of water. After he ate and drank, he lay down again. But the angel of the Lord came back a second time, 
touched him and ordered, get up and eat, else the journey will be too long for you. He got up, ate, and drank. Then, strengthened by that food, he walked 40 days and 40 nights to the mountain of God, Orb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with which you were sealed for the day of redemption. All bitterness, fury, anger, shouting, and reviling must be re removed from you, along with all malice. And be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving, one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. So be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
the Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews murmured about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And they said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? Do we not know his father and mother? Then how can you say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered and said to them, Stop murmuring among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the father except the one who is from God. He has seen the father. Amen, amen I say to you. Whoever believes has eternal life I am the bread of life your ancestors gave the manna in the desert but they died this is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat it and no die I am the living bread that came down from heaven Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is the third weekend that we are listening gospel passage from John chapter 6. Chapter 6 is known as the bread of life chapter. Jesus make it, Jesus says, that he is a bread and whoever eats him can share in his life, life eternal. Now that tells us about the importance of the Eucharist. The importance of the Holy Mass. Now the Eucharist has two aspects. The aspects of the meal. Now Jesus establishes the Eucharist at the Last Supper. Now the setting of a meal. But it has the other aspect which is equally or more important. Jesus offered one supreme sacrifice. He gave his very life. As John would say, we may have life in abundance. Now, why do we need to take part in the life of Jesus? 
We'll listen to the first reading of today. Prophet Elijah. You know, after he had that competition with the priest of the Baal, he runs away. And he decides, you know, that he's ready to die. But the angel fed him. So when the angel fed him with the bread and water, Elijah walked 40 days and 40 nights and reached the Mount of God, Horah. So that's the importance of the Eucharist. Now when we receive the Eucharist, as Elijah did, we ask the question, what God wants me to do? Not what I want to do in my life. Now we listen to the beautiful second reading. Where Paul says, be imitate earth of God you know the simple principle you know what we eat become part of our life and when we participate in the very life of Jesus when we receive his body and blood into our hearts it has to become part of our life. That's what Paul says. Be imitators of God. You know, towards the evening of his life, Paul would say, it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Paul fully and completely identifies himself with Jesus. That's why as Catholics, every Sunday and weekdays to participate in the body and blood of Christ. We are not only being nourished by the word. You know, the scripture is very important. We read the word. We study the word. We meditate upon the word. But when we come for the holy mass, we are being fed by the very body and blood of Jesus. That's why Vatican II says, Eucharist is the source and summit of our Christian life. As Christians, our life evolves around the Eucharist. Now at the end of the Mass, the priest or the deacon says, now the mass is ended, let's go love and serve the Lord. What we witness at the altar, that's what we are called upon to live out. 19th Sunday, In the ordinary season, the liturgy of today invites you and me to participate in the body and blood of Christ so that, as Paul says, we can become imitators of God.
please rise. <laughs> we shall pray together. I believe in one God, the Father of God, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, God, light from light, from light, light true God, God from true God, God begotten, begotten not, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him, him all things were made, made. for us men and for our salvation, salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, Mary and became man. For our, our sake, sake he was crucified under Pontius, Pontius Pilate, he suffered, he suffered death and was buried. buried. I rose again, was again on the third day, day in accordance with the scriptures. scriptures. He ascended, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Father. He, will he will come again, again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and, and his, his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, the Lord, the, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified. Who has spoken to the prophets. the prophets? I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic, and Apostolic Church. Church. I, I confess one baptism, one baptism for, for the forgiveness, forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and, and the life of the world, of the world to, come. to come. Amen. With confidence in God, our loving Father, we tend to Him with our prayers. For Pope Francis and for all Christians, that they may be a sign of hope in our broken world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the leaders of nations may work together to provide for the needs of the poor and may know that such needs cannot be fulfilled apart from God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for the bread of life, which makes us the people of life who proclaim and build the culture of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. That all who teach the word of God may have grace and strength to live in their own lives the way of righteousness that Jesus teaches. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the many people in our world who live in fear of disease, that Lord, that the Lord will be with them and bring them into peace and wholeness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the elderly or infirm, the sick and the suffering, that they will be comforted by the presence of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all the faithfully departed, especially for Lawrence Dano family, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, we thank you and praise you for all your blessings and all your gifts. Lord, today in a special way, we thank you for giving us this opportunity to go ahead with our festival. Lord, bless all those who work, uh, work to prepare for it and all those who come and participate. Keep all of us healthy and safe. Make this prayer through Christ uh, our Lord. Amen.
precious sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands, at your hands for the praise, for the praise and blessing. glory of his name, for our, for our good and good, good of all holy his church. holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself. That the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fond of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dear fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this. All of you and eat of it. But this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it but this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ's death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in a mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. 
that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages we may merit to be go as to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him O oh god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever the service command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come thy will thy be done, be done on, on earth, earth as, it is, as it is in heaven give us, give us this, day our, this day our daily bread and forgive, and us, forgive us, our us our trespasses as we as forgive we those, forgive who, trespass those against who trespass against us I'll lead us and not lead to us temptation, not to temptation but, but deliver us, us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant God peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and uh, ever. Amen. The peace and joy of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I deserve you with all, I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart, and I unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Anyone listening to 90.1 on their car radio and wishing to receive communion, please come into the church.
Please be seated. Now we'll take up, take up a second collection, which will help us to pay towards the band. Let us pray. May the communion in our sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. So thank you everyone for being part of this Eucharistic celebration. We are back with our festival. Last year uh, we could not do it. So we have uh, the dinner, the raffles, band, um, auctions, you name it. We have all kinds of fun. So please stay back and participate in the festival. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.